Hello, and welcome to today's Quick Plays video where we'll answer the question, should I straddle? Straddling is an action more exclusive to live poker, but many players don't quite understand this play. So in this video, I will explain what a straddle is, show you the pros and cons, and help you answer the question, should I be straddling? There are many different kinds of straddles. They come in different sizes, from different positions, and are made for a multitude of reasons. A straddle is simply a blind raise preflop made before the whole cards are dealt. The two most common types of straddles are the classic under the gun straddle and the Mississippi straddle. Let's start with the common under the gun straddle. An under the gun straddle is when the under the gun player, or the player to the direct left of the big blind, puts out 2x the big blind before the cards are dealt. Action then begins with the next player, and the straddler gets their option when it comes back to them. So in this hand at 2-5, the under the gun player puts out $10 before the cards are dealt, and action starts on their left. If the pot is raised, action goes around like normal, and the straddler gets their action in normal rotation. If the pot is limped to the straddler, the straddler can decide to check or raise. If they raise, action goes around like normal. But why would someone want to straddle? What are the benefits? Well, let's first understand what the straddle is really doing. By putting out a blind 2x raise before the cards are dealt, the straddler is essentially putting out a third blind. So at a 2-5 game, the blinds are now 2-5-10 for this hand. That artificially makes this hand like a 5-10 game, and thus lowers the effective stack sizes. So a player who started the hand with $500 would have 100 big blinds at 2-5, but when the straddle is on and the blinds are artificially 2-5-10, that $500 stack is now only 50 big blinds. That changes a lot of things when it comes to both preflop and postflop strategy. The other common straddle, albeit less common than the under the gun version, is the Mississippi straddle. This gives the button the option to straddle for 2x the big blind first, and if he defers, the option rotates around the table counterclockwise. If a Mississippi straddle has been established, the player to the direct left of the straddle acts first. So if we take an example where we do a Mississippi straddle on the button, the small blind would act first and action continues like normal. Similar to the under the gun straddle, if it limps around to us, we do have the option to check or raise. This straddle also halves the effective stack, but rather than under the gun straddling and being in one of the worst positions at the table, a Mississippi straddle done on the button puts you in the best position both preflop and postflop. In general, a straddle doesn't really offer any other benefits, if you can even consider having the effective stacks a benefit. The straddle is more a sign of a gambler, someone who wants to play solely for fun and likes to throw chips around more liberally. Most players that straddle don't even understand that it changes the effective stacks, but now you will. So back to the original question, should I be straddling? In general, no. By straddling, you change the effective stake of the game and in turn change the effective stacks. If you have a solid 100 big blind strategy, but not a great 50 big blind strategy, why create a bad situation for yourself? But there are three main times when I think straddling is a good idea. First is when you can straddle attack. If you're at the kind of table where you can straddle, get a bunch of callers, and then attack them with a big raise when it comes back to you, a straddle can be excellent. This gives you a chance to pick up a bunch of easy money. However, in most games the straddle creates a bizarre dynamic where people want to fold less often, which can dramatically reduce how often they fold when you attack them. The second is a Mississippi straddle with solid players on your direct left. If you button straddle, the players in the blinds are forced to act first, and the solid players are likely going to fold preflop at a full table. This removes them from your pot and leaves you on the button, which is awesome. However, if you have a number of solid players on your direct left, chances are you should have already been considering a table change. And third is straddling when it's socially acceptable. I never like being the sore thumb at a poker table. If the table is doing a round of straddles, just go along with it. Keep the game lively, keep everyone smiling, and just throw your straddle out there. Sure, a straddle is a negative VV play, but pitching away two big blinds to keep the game running and happy is easily a good idea. Overall, straddling is a losing play. You put in more money with a random hand, and when you do so from under the gun, you have awful position when you go postflop. You also have the effective stacks and artificially increase the stake to one that you likely are not bankrolled for. In specific situations, a straddle can be good, especially when it's socially viable, but barring that, you should usually avoid straddling in your games. Same as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Otherwise, good luck and happy grinding.